Hey, Robert Pipe is here with Eagle Eye Bookkeeping Services. Hope everyone's doing well today. What we are talking about today is how to utilize QuickBooks Online to help grow your real estate business. As real estate agents, whether you're a new agent or a seasoned agent, understanding your business from a financial point of view will undoubtedly help you grow your business. Every business has key functions or departments to them. A business has a production department, a research and development department, otherwise known as R&D, purchasing, marketing, human resource department, and of course an accounting and finance department. From the production standpoint, you guys are the ones out there networking and making the sales calls. From the R&D standpoint, you are the ones researching the market and learning new sales techniques. Purchasing department, you guys are the ones buying the closing gifts buying business cards and signs. Marketing department, you're designing postcards. You're designing the flyers that go out to your prospects. Human resources, these are for out there for the agents that are actually building teams. And of course you have accounting and financial functions. What I am going to show you is how you can use and leverage the accounting and finance part to help you understand and grow your business not to look at it as a necessary evil of doing business, but how to use the accounting and financial statements as a way to monitor all the other aspects of your business that we just talked about. How we use the financial statements to not only monitor, but scale and improve each area. We're going to show how you should structure your financials so that you can see and compare what you did in a particular time frame. We'll structure it so that you can see how much you did in buyer revenue, and how much you did in listing revenue. We'll also structure it so that you can see how much you did in residential versus commercial. In essence, what we are going to do is monitor the outcome of your production efforts. From this, as long as your financials show a true and accurate representation of your business, can help you and should be a valuable tool for you to use to look forward and help plan and monetize where you want to take your business. How much in sales revenue do you want to do? How much in listing revenue do you want to do? How much in residential versus commercial? What do you want your focus to be? Only then can you ask yourself, how do you want to get there? That's where the R&D comes into play, or the research and development. Here's another cool thing that QuickBooks can do. It can tell you how profitable each location was for you. A basic example. 123 Main Street listed here shows that a listing sold for $6,000 and you had $300 in direct costs for that listing. So just in one example, I hope you can see how using QuickBooks Online can help you monitor your efforts and your business. But better yet, I hope you can see how you can use this to plan and adjust your efforts to meeting your goals. So just like how you took classes to become a real estate agent and how you sharpen your skills to sell real estate, it takes knowledge and action to define the skills to come up with an accounting system to manage your business. I've developed a course that will lay out the process with real examples. The course is made up of three sections. The framework. This is the foundation that the rest of the sections will be built on. Then how to enter transactions into QuickBooks Online so that you can get the reporting that you'll use to better manage your activities, your efforts, and your business. And finally, the reporting section. The framework is going to be the foundation of getting you the reports. You will need the account structure set up correctly to design what your reports will look like. We'll go over how to set up customers and properties in QuickBooks Online so that the figures will be mapped and grouped in such a way that your reports will be useful. We'll go over how to set up your products and, or services in QuickBooks Online. We will also show you how to set up the locations and properties in QuickBooks Online so that you can run the reports that will help you monitor all of your other business activities. In the Entering Transactions section, we will go over how to enter bills and how to enter invoices into QuickBooks Online so that the amounts feed to the correct areas in the financial statements. We will also show you how to handle a cash advance from your broker. As you can tell by now, 
all of this is the prerequisite to getting you the reports that will fairly represent the financial position of your company. The last section of this course will be what reports to run and how to read them. Reports are the essential part of using QuickBooks efficiently to run your business. So what I encourage you to do is watch the first couple of videos. I have them up here on my website for free. What I have found is that after watching them, you will fall into one of three categories. One, after watching, you will feel that you want to set up your own accounting system in QuickBooks Online and run it yourself. Then you can purchase the full course, which will include all the videos outlined here. Two, after watching, you will feel that you will want the accounting system set up, but you just don't want to do it. And that's fine. If that's how you feel, then feel free to schedule a free consultation and we can discuss the bookkeeping services that I provide. And lastly, the third category are the ones that will brush off the need to have an accounting system in place. And that's fine too. From one business owner to another, I wish you all the best. If at the end of the day, I helped one more business gain focus and help them develop an accounting system that will help them better manage their business, then I know that I did my job. And that's what makes me happy at the end of the day. If you have any questions, you can always send me an email at robert.pipus at eagleeyebookkeepingservicesllc.com or just call myself at area code 919-610-0192. If I don't answer, it just means that I'm either helping another client or sleeping. But rest assured, I will get back to you shortly. So if you stuck through it this far, I thank you and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day.